Hey guys, welcome back to Techogram. Today we're going to learn the second method of the transportation problem, which is matrix minimum method. So let's get started. Today we're going to solve this question which is flashed on the screen. You can see this is just like the same question as the northwest corner method. So what you have to do first in the matrix minimum method, you can see in the name it's written matrix minimum means minimum and method. So in the matrix you have to see which is the minimum number. So here this is our demand and this is our availability. So what you have to see, you do not have to see all this, you have to see the inside data. And you have to see which is the smallest among this matrix. So you see all the numbers and the smallest number is here 4. Just like same as the northwest, make a corner here. And because this is the smallest number, you have to see the demand and supply of this. So the supply means availability, which is also called supply. Here is 120 and the demand is 110. So what you do, just do the minus. So 120 minus 110. 120 will become 10 and this will become 0. And the difference we have to write here. So now the 110 and 10 will become 20 and this 110 is just 110. Now this line will get eliminated. So I will make a line here. Now this whole column get eliminated here. Now we have 9 numbers remaining. Now we have to see which is the smallest among them. You can see the smallest in this 3 by 3 matrix is the 9. So do the same thing. Make a square box here. What you have to see? You have to see the demand and supply. So the demand is 30. Supply is subtracted 70 minus 30. So this 30 will become 0. This 70 will become 40. And the difference we have to write here. So 30 here. So 70 minus 40 will become 30 because this 30 will become 0 and this 30 will get written over here. You have to write the smallest number. Just the same. Now because this will became 0, we have to cut out this column. So I am making a line here. Now we have this 2 by 3 column. Now just do the same thing. Find out which number is the lowest. You can see 20 is the lowest here. Make a square. And see for the supply. So the availability is 10. And the demand is 60. So subtract the 60 by 10. So 60 minus 10. Now this will become 0. And this will become 50. And this 10 will be get written over here. Now this became 0. So we have to cut out this whole line. Now we can see we have only 2 by 2 matrix remaining. So now you can see the 24th is the smallest number. Do the same thing. Make the box here and look for the supply and availability. So the demand is 50 and the supply is 40. So 50 minus 40 will become 0 here and there will be a 10 remaining here. So now you have to write the 40 here. And now because this became 0, we have to cut out this whole line. Do not cut out this line. Just don't make any mess because we will need this number. So I am just making a line here. And now you can see there are only two numbers remaining. So among these we have 32. So you can see, just make a box and the 10 is remaining here and 50 is remaining here. So 50 minus 10 will become 40. So this will become 0 and this will become 40 and you have to write this 10 here. And because this became 0, we have to cut out this line. Now there is only one number remaining. This is 37 and we can see the 40 and 40 is remaining here. To see that you did everything correct or not, you have to see the last number will be always be the same so here is 40 remaining and the 40 is remaining here so make a box 40 minus 40 will become 0 on both the side and now this 40 will be get written over here now when you add all this for example this d1 so 10 plus 40 plus 10 will become 60 the original value 40 is the original value 40 30 is the original value 30 just add it by the column and row and you will get the exact number as the original value now to solve this do the same thing as we did in the northwest start from any corner you want now 10 and 20 so multiply both these two and add this by every other corner so now 40 is equal to 24 the same thing for every cell in which there is are two values so now here Now just multiply and add all this. So this will become 200. This will become 200. So our final answer is 3670. You can see this is how you can solve the matrix mirror method. It's one of the easiest methods. It's easier than the Northwest and the third method which is VAM. Vogel's approximation method. The next video will be about RAM, so stay tuned. 
Hope you like the video. If you like the video, press the like button. If you have any question, comment, write your suggestion. Please comment down in the comment box below. Subscribe for more. Bye.